Okay, number six. At a certain, certain parking lot, you pay 75 cents for the first hour and 50 cents each for additional hour. What is the greatest number of hours you can leave a car in the lot and spend less than $3? So, <clears throat> excuse me. We know we're going to have to pay 75 cents no matter what. And then 50 cents after that for each additional hour. And we want to spend less than $3. So with that being said, X is going to represent the number of hours. Okay. So when we solve this out, we're going to subtract 0 0.75. So we're going to subtract 0 0.75. 225. Divide by 0 0.5 on both sides. I'm running out of room, so I'll move it over here. All right. And then 225 divided by 0 0.5 tells me 4.5. So we need to be there for less than four and a half hours. Okay. Uh, for less than, actually needs to be less than four hours. Okay. Uh, the reason why I have four hours, because four and a half, the reason the way it's phrased is even you get charged for part of an hour. So that four and a half, that basically kind of rounds up to five, and you'll get charged for that. And when you do that, five uh, hours times 50 cents an hour is 250, plus the 75 cents you already have to do. That's going to put you at 325. So you need to be four hours or less than that, okay? Less than, less, th okay, let me rephrase that. Four hours is fine. Less than or equal to four hours. Part B, let's get that into y equals mx plus b or y equals ax plus b. So get y by itself. I'm going to subtract a 3x from both sides. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Two negatives make a positive. I'm going to leave it as 3 halves x. Now, the slope in this case, they also want you to identify, is going to be 3 halves. That's the number in front of the x. It just so happens then um, it's just 3 halves for the slope. Uh, part B, get the x and y intercept. So just like we did on part A, I'm going to go find the x-intercept first by setting y to 0. And solving out for x. So it's just going to be a quick divide by 3. The x-intercept is 5. For the y-intercept, okay, I'm going to set x to 0 to find the y-intercept. And then it's just going to be a quick divide by negative 2 negative 15 over 2, or negative 7.5 is fine as well. All right, and then lastly, letter B, solve for R. 2 times pi times R to get rid of multiplication, we do division. As we've been doing before, you're going to try off with something that does not look very pretty, but R is by itself, C over 2 pi.